What's up folks, welcome back. So now we're done with the wasteboard support and now we're gonna move on to doing the Y-axis. It's all gonna be done on the bench. I can check each and every single screw and uh, make sure that the tensioning on the lead screws is just the way that I want it. And I wanna show you the lead screw tensioning and how I'm doing it. But also I'll, I'll touch base on how to do it with the little puck that they included with the, the kit. And then I'm gonna transfer those completed pieces to the waste board. So let's get started. If you are putting your queen bee together, and this is from the ground up kit that you got, the queen bee pro kit, all the assembly instructions that we're doing is gonna be exactly the same for you. This series was made for the work bee kit to upgrade it to the queen bee pro, but that the only differences with that is the tear down and taking off the old equipment from the work bee. From this point going forward, it is the queen bee pro whether you got it as an upgrade kit or whether you got it as a full kit queen bee pro right out of the box your assembly instructions are going to be exactly the same you're going to be dealing with the same tensioning for the lead screws the same bolts the same plates the same alignment the same everything so this is essentially a queen bee pro build that this series is covering as well all of the electronics and all of that programming is all exactly the same as the work beat and i have down below i have all the links for all those videos uh, for your convenience so they're easy to find and all those videos detail all of the electronics putting together the electronics the programming uh, mach 3 all that stuff so make sure if you're putting together your your queen bee pro and you haven't done the electronics side go down to those episodes that i have down below check those out it's going to be the same setup for you as well all right guys so for this one we're going to be using one of your c-beams and as i showed you before one of the c-beams with the 20 by 40 insert already in it or slide it in there and you can see right here on the end this is the 20 by 80 i'm sorry the 20 by 40 and that's inset in there and now it makes this a 40 by 80 piece that's what we're going to be working with is one of these and obviously both sides of the y-axis are going to be the same so this is just going to be a mirror image of each other when we move on to the very next one so you're going to need two rails you're going to need one lead screw you need your two plates lock collars thrust bearings these uh sliding t-nuts i'm not exactly sure what screws these are because these are not the ones that were in the kit uh the upgrade kit whenever i got it and as a matter of fact it wasn't sent with me either it was noticed after the fact bulk band noticed that they sent me the wrong screws and then they mailed me these um in a separate shipment later on now here's the puck that i was talking about that uh they provide you with for putting on your lead screw and you turn this to put tension on it and then you lock down your stuff this is the one that i made that's um because the problem with this is that it's plastic um i'm sure for for most it obviously it works otherwise they wouldn't still be giving them out um but my always had the uh, the issue of these threads stripping out real easily in there so i made this basically it's 3d printed so that the, this brass piece can be recessed in and this is threaded, the same T8 thread that the lead screws are. And I can put a, uh, a crescent wrench on this and provide a little bit more tension that'll take out all the slap that you're gonna see with the uh, lead screws. So uh, let's get this thing together. Thank you. 
So now comes a major part of this whole installation here. You're going to start with one of your bearings. Pop it out. Now, there's this plastic piece right here inside the bearing. What this is doing is it's holding the ball bearings that are actually inside. You are going to use this part of the rail to push this plastic bearing this plastic part out that's holding it in there's a rubber gasket so you're gonna have to get around that and then just like this you let the rail slide it off and now you're on there but when you're done put these to the side and keep these because if you ever have to change a bearing or if you ever have to do any maintenance on your machine and you need to take these off you need to take these off the exact same way and roll them onto the plastic otherwise your bearings are going to fall out of your your linear bearing here don't be intimidated by the fact that they might be they might use a little force to uh, to get them on there. These bearings have never worked before, so they need to be broken in and they need to get moved around and, and used before they're actually going to have that nice, smooth rolling like that. Now that you have your four bearings on here, we can do the other plate on this side. And then we'll do that to the other rail, and then we'll jump into the plates and how I put the plates on. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on the Y plates that's gonna be mounting to our rollers here. If you're gonna do this like I'm doing, where it's one unit all put together and you're just gonna put it on in one, one go, you gotta pay attention to what you got here and what side is what. So, always remember that the bearing side are gonna to be to the outsides of the machine. So we're going to be looking like this. So these plates, this is where your lead screw is going to go. This facing out. And this is what is going to connect. This part of the plate is going to connect to your wasteboard support. So this is the direction that you're going to want. This, this is going to be for the Y axis facing the machine, it's gonna, this is gonna be your left side Y axis. And as you can see on this one, we are to the outside. This plate goes towards the inside. So this is your right side Y axis. So this is back to our left side. This is going to be facing up. So this is where your plates are going to ride like this. Okay, so the most important part you need to remember on this 
is the B is towards the front. B towards the front. This is your other plate. If you have the B facing the rear, you have it on the wrong side. So B towards the front, B towards the front. This part of the B is on the outside of the machine, B facing the front. That's your orientation and how you're gonna mount your plate. This will mount to your X axis beam once we have it on the machine. So as long as you can remember that little, that little detail, you should be able to line this up and make sure that your orientations are correct. This is where your X axis beam is gonna be bolting to. This is where your motor is gonna be bolting to on the outside here. Your bearings are gonna run in here. So as long as you remember the B towards the front, you should be okay when it comes to mounting this orientation correctly. Let's talk about these bearings real quick. So these bearings, they need uh, maintenance. So they're gonna need to be um, oiled or what, what have you. Um, in your kit, you're gonna have these. Basically what these are, these are a grease zert. It's usually what we call them. Um, and these outside screws right here, depending on what orientation you're using this bearing, since this is gonna be like this, so the plate's gonna be over it, you wanna put your grease zerts where you can access them easily for maintenance. So these screws, and also too, look at that, that just came right out with almost no, no touch in it at all. So you're gonna leave or tighten the opposite side So we're gonna be putting the grease zert in here and tightening this side. Okay, that's how that's gonna be done. So make sure you do this before you go putting the plate on or you could even do this to all your bearings um, before you put them on. Just make sure that when you do install the bearings that the outside that's going to be easiest to access is the one that gets the grease start. Okay, so once you have this bolted on and it's in place um, and you have all your bearings tight, I suggest that you take this lower rail and you loosen it up because there is some slight play in this and how finely it can be adjusted. Once you loosen, and we're just talking about a little bit, just a couple threads, nothing crazy, because you don't want your, um, your T-nut that's inside here to fall out. So just undo it a little bit. It doesn't need to be completely undone. And then move this back and forth until it aligns itself, aligns it the way that it wants to be, and that it's moving freely with, look, with the littlest bit of resistance as possible. And then come here and Make it snug, snug, and do that all the way down the line so that you have every single screw in alignment as you're rolling down here. And right here, just, just do it finger tight until you get all the way to the end and then you can come back and tighten them back down. 